know what the word hullabaloo means? Yes, it means a big, big fuss or a huge commotion. I wonder, have you ever made a hullabaloo about something that went wrong or maybe when you got a fright? Or have you ever seen a friend or a little brother or a little sister make a hullabaloo? What did you do to try and make them stop? Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Pelly. Welcome to Journey with Story. Today's episode is a story written by me and it's all about a rather spoiled hen who is used to getting her own way by kicking up a hullabaloo which makes everyone around her do what she wants until one day... Well, let's just take a listen and hear what happens one day. But before we begin, grown-ups out there, can you gather round for a moment? You know, one of the many things I love about stories is that they connect us to each other, to other places and to other people from the past and in the future... And recently, we at Journey with Story got connected to another storytelling podcast called Story Pillar. I thought you and your little listeners might enjoy this podcast very much. Here's Meg from Story Pillar to tell you all about it, and you can find out more in our episode notes too. Hey, grown-ups, it's Meg from Story Pillar. This is for you. Do you like stories and learning about new places? For this story, we have to travel to Megalia. How about being silly? I don't want your butt germs. And when something tough happens, maybe with a friend, could you use some advice? I can do that if I want because I'm not hurting you. I'm not being mean. Then check out Story Pillar, a podcast where we tackle sticky situations, hear stories from all over the world, and pick up tips from you, our listeners. More info at storypillar.com. Oh, and a big thanks to all of our Patreon subscribers who have been supporting our podcast. We really appreciate you so much. And remember, if you haven't already done so, you can become a Patreon today if you go to www.journeywithstory.com and click on the Patreon tab there. Oh, and you'll collect your free weekly colouring sheets there too. Now, another important announcement before we begin... Since next Wednesday is February the 14th, we are going to air our regular episode on that day instead of Thursday the 15th, so as to coincide with Valentine's Day. So be sure and remember to check us out a day early and hear our Valentine's Day story on Wednesday, February the 14th. Now, Let's take a journey with A Hen House Hullabaloo by Kathleen Pelly. Contessa Princessa led a lovely life in her hen house on 11 Linden Lane. Whenever she needed something, all she had to do was kick up one of her hullabaloos. If she needed some fresh straw, she kicked up a hurry up and get it, hullabaloo. If she felt a little chilly, she kicked up a hurry up and warm me up, hullabaloo. And when the new neighbour's chihuahua snapped at her through the fence, she kicked up a hurry up and fix the fence, hullabaloo. Everyone adored Contessa Princessa. Whenever she laid an egg, they cooed, You are so clever! Whenever she strutted by with a wiggle of her wattle, they trilled, You are so beautiful! And she had such a knack for imitating all kinds of noises that her clip clip clop of raindrops made everyone grab their umbrellas. Her donkey, Hee-haw! Hee-haw! made little Polly jump and giggle. And her yip yip yow of a coyote made them all gawk and gasp. She is so smart. But everything changed the day a crate arrived 
outside the hen house and out strutted two hens, Lolita and Lupita. Adorable, everyone agreed. Precious darlings. Disgusting, sputtered Contessa Princessa. I am the precious one around here. Shoo, shoo. Then she kicked up one of her hullabaloos. A horrid, hissy, huffy hullabaloo. Everyone pleaded, Be nice, Contessa Princessa. But Contessa Princessa only hullabalooed even more. And that made everyone do something they had never done. They scolded her. That only made matters worse, much worse. Everyone despaired. But then little Polly had an idea. It's a time out for you, Contessa Princessa. Contessa Princessa looked around. She was clockless with rage. And then she stamped and she stomped and she squawked and she screeched and she stewed herself up into one of her hullabaloos. A mighty, how dare you do this to me, hullabaloo. It lasted three days and three nights. Everyone grew worried. Maybe we need to send her away to Cousin Consuela's farm in the country. Contessa Princessa heard them and she gulped. What? Send me, the precious Princessa, to a farm in the country? She flopped to the ground, droopy with sorrow, and began to sob. She sobbed as twilight turned to dusk. She sobbed as the moon bloomed and the stars blinked. She sobbed until she had no more sobs left. What will become of me? Then she heard a flutter and a ruffle. There, there, don't be sad, cooed Lolita and Lupita. Contessa Princessa sniffed and sidled close for a snuggly snooze. Suddenly, a scraping and a scratching startled the hens awake. Chihuahua! Contessa Princessa broke into a hurry up and save us, hullabaloo. But no one came. Save us, begged Lolita and Lupita, turning to Contessa Princessa. Contessa Princessa summoned her smarts. Only one sound would scare this wily chihuahua. Coyote. Chihuahua froze. Chihuahua yelped. Chihuahua fled fast as fire. In the morning, everyone rejoiced to see the happy trio. Back in the hen house, Contessa Princessa returned to her lovely life with Lolita and Lupita tottering after her, chirping. You are so smart. You are so beautiful. You are so brave. And so happy was Contessa Princessa that she kicked up a brand new hullabaloo. A jolly, jolly, happy together hullabaloo. And everyone joined in. Well, wasn't our Contessa Princessas a rather spoiled hen? I wonder if this story painted any pictures in your mind. If so, do send us your drawings at www.journeywithstory.com so we can share with others. And don't forget, 
Since next Wednesday is Valentine's Day, February the 14th, we'll be airing our regular story a day early to coincide with that day. So be sure and join us then for a Valentine's Day story. Cheerio, join me next time for Journey with Story. Music and post-production was by Colette Jonas.